this video we're going to talk about some tips and tricks to make your assignments stand out and to help your students figure out what it is that they're supposed to be doing. And one of the ways you can do that is by using emojis. All right, and you can use them in very creative ways. So down here I've got some things that I've already added emojis to. So if you actually start using emojis and use the same emojis over and over again, you will see that the students then figure out exactly what they want have that you want to have them do. So for instance, this one is how to train your dragon. You'll notice I got a little camera right here and it says watch the video below video below and answer the questions. So they know just by looking at this, there's a video that I need to watch. Then if I want them to um, write about something, I might use an emoji that's a pencil. And this one happens to be a science one. So I could put a little science symbol. It's supposed to be a mi microscope, but it doesn't look very microscopy. So there are several different places you can um, grab emojis from and you can add them to your assignments. So you can create an assignment and you can add an emoji to the beginning or the end. Either way, just my suggestion is keep it consistent so your students always know where to look for your things. So let's say that I am going to have my students, I want them to look at a particular picture or something like that. So I could go to um, emojipedia.org, okay? And I can search emojis that way. And I just search for eyes and here's eyes. I click on it, it's very simple. You say, okay, go copy my eyes. And then I go back to my assignment and I just paste it in and I say, look for differences or something like that. Okay, then add instructions, add whatever I want to, select all my other stuff on this other side and I'm good to go. I can also go to, there's a Chrome extension um, for emojis. So there's an emoji keyboard. So I could click on this little heart and it has a search thing that I can search this way too. So I can also search eyes and odds are it's gonna bring up similar eyes. All right, so I could copy and paste it from here. It says it's copied. I can paste it over here. So emojis are a great way to add a little something into your assignments to um, help the kids figure out what it is that you really want them to do. So what is it? So this one is look for the difference. There it is. And so they know that I've got to look for something or maybe that's my research one or um, I could have all sorts of things. The sky's the limit if you want to add things. If you're doing a science lab, maybe you want to put a science symbol down here that's always for your labs, that they know that your lab is always that way. Um, so if you have any questions, just go ahead and um, let me know and I'll be glad to help you. It's just a fun way to add a little um, something for your visual learners in your Google Classroom. So if you have any questions, just give me a call.